Tell him to turn to somebody next to him and smile at them. Amen. Say, you can, tell him, say, you look better when you smile. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Say so you look real pretty when you smile. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, I want to talk to you this morning about unlocking the prosperity of God for you. God, God wants you to live in prosperity. Amen. Sometimes when we think about prosperity, we just think about money. And as you know, you can have a ton of money but not have prosperity. It's so critical that you learn how to actually have prosperity. And I'm not sure if you guys have this slang, but when you have real prosperity, you can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> موفقیت داری هم میتونی کیک تو بخ... داشته باشی هم بخوریش یعنی همه چی رو داری somebody say it's time for the next level یکی بگه وقته که بریم یک لول بالا amen the greatest threat to being all you could be بزرگترین جلوگیری که این satisfaction with where you are کاملا پتانسیل منو پر کنیم اینه Amen. It's time to leave the normal. It seems sometimes that the world is designed to make people normal, comfortable, and average. And somehow they think that that's respectable. But really, that's a tragedy. You were never created to just be normal. You were, you were created to live in the supernatural. So you need to make up your mind not to wait. Today is your day for change. Amen. We want to, yeah. We want to change the way you think. Because if you change the way you think, it'll change the way you feel. And if you change the way you feel, it'll change the way you act. And if you change the way you act, it'll change your entire destiny. Amen. Show me. Show me your daily habits and I'll show you your future. Because the price of your future is your present. Your daily habits will show how far you're going to go. Amen. Amen. If you want something you've never had, you're going to have to do something you've never done. Amen. You can't do the same old thing and end up with a different result. Somebody said the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. Time to step into something new. Amen. Amen. Hit your neighbor and tell him it's time to get on with it. Amen. Amen. Do we still have that picture of my family? Did they have it on the computer? I wanted to show you a picture. Formula Pastor Arts. True prosperity is far more than money or healing. Amen. It's far more than marriage. It's far more than family. It's, a, it's an intimate connection with God. 
There's something that's very important that I want you to comprehend this morning. یه چیزیه که خیلی مهمه میخوام امروز درک بکنم. Is you cannot tap into and receive what you do not believe is rightfully yours. شما نمیتونین برین اون اون بتلوین اون چیزی که مال شماست اگر اعتقادش رو ندارین. You cannot tap into what you don't believe is rightfully شما نمیتونین اون چیزی رو بگیرین و بتلبین اگر واقعا تو قلبتون اعتقاد ندارین مال شما Even if you do get it, حتی اگر بگیرین you'll sabotage it. یه کار میکنین که خراب کاری بود Because you don't believe it's rightfully yours. اعتقاد ندارین که واقعا حقتونه که داشته God wants to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. میخواد یک برکتی بده که اصلا نمیتونین شما تصور بکنین But if you don't believe it's rightfully yours. واقعا اگر فکر میکنین حقتون نیست If you don't believe it's rightfully yours, you'll sabotage it. Amen. So, so when God wants to give you a blessing, He wants you to be married. He wants you to have joy and excitement. If you don't believe you're really supposed to have all that, then you'll sabotage it. Somebody know what I'm talking about. You have to believe on the inside that you're supposed to be blessed. Amen. Amen. So I want to somehow take you through a process this morning to help you realize that you are supposed to be blessed. سیستمی که بتونین متوجه بشین که خداوند میخواد شما را برکت خداوند میخواد موفقتون بکنه واقعا میخواد برکت بده میخواد تو هر لحاظ برکت بده هر لحاظ میخواد شما پر از برکت فقط بنویسین خدا میخواد منو برکت بده I'm going to read a scripture out of third John خب من میخوام یه آیه بخونم از سوم یوحنا verse 2 دو It says, "I wish above all things, brothers, that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers." So, in other words, true prosperity comes from soul prosperity. این موفقیت حقیقی از کجا میاد جانتون موفق your soul is your mind your will and your emotions جانتون میدونید چیه فکرتون ارادتون و احساساتتون so it is important that you prosper in your mind your will and your emotions پس مهم هست که شما موفق بشین تو طرز فکرتون اراده و احساسات if you're ever going to step into true prosperity اگر میخواین واقعا موفق بشین psalm 5 verse 12 says Says so surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous, and your favor covers them as with a shield. Surely, O oh Lord, you bless the righteous, and your favor covers them as with a shield. Amen. So God is wanting you to prosper. He's wanting you to have favor. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, God told the children of Israel that he wanted to bless them. And he told them in the first 14 verses all the ways that he would bless them if they would worship him. And he went down through everything. You would be blessed in your businesses or in your fields. You be blessed in your families. You be blessed in your womb. You would be blessed when you come. 
وقتی که میای برکت you would be blessed when you go وقتی که میری برکت that your health would be blessed حتی سلامتیت برکت داره that all the enemies who would come against you would, would run away from you فرار میکنه they would come from one way but they would flee in seven ولی هفت جور مختلف فرار میکنه that god would literally prosper you in every way و واقعا بهت هر جور موفقیت and he said it was if you would worship me اگر and if you would follow my commands so the scripture we just read out of Psalm chapter 5 which says that God wants to bless the righteous this is many times where the problem comes in because many people don't feel like they're righteous most feel like they've done it wrong they feel like I haven't gone to church enough I haven't prayed enough I haven't witnessed enough I've been living in this sin or that sin but I want you to know that you're not considered righteous in God's sight but what, by what you do or don't do you're considered righteous by what you believe amen Ephesians 2 8 and 9 says this it says, uh, for by grace are you saved through faith. And, and this is not of yourselves. It's a gift of God. It's not of works. So that no one can boast. So righteousness before God is not something you work up. It's something you receive. Many people feel like God is pointing a finger at them. And, and he's upset at them because they're not doing it good enough. And I want you to know that's the farthest from the truth. Jesus Christ came to pay for your sin. And, and he paid for all sin. He paid for all mistakes. He paid for all failures. And, he, and he's wanting you to step into his prosperity. Because when you start thinking that he loves you, and you start, and you start believing that you are righteous because of the blood, prosperity begins to fill your soul. And you start acting the way God asks. When you receive the love of God, you start operating in the love of God. And when you operate in the love of God, you operate in all of God's righteousness. Second Corinthians chapter 9. Verse 11. And this is speaking about those who give to the purpose of God. It says, it says you will be made rich in every way. Say rich in every way. Amen. Rich in every way. Rich in every way. Rich in every way. Rich in your marriages. Rich in your health. Rich in your emotions. Rich in your feelings. Amen. Amen. God wants you rich in every way. If you can get it on the inside, you'll have it on the outside. When you get the love of God on the inside, the prosperity of God chases you on the outside. Amen. It'll chase you. 
As David said, surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So, I want you to know where the root of poverty comes from. The root of all poverty is a guilty conscience. The only thing that God told Adam and Eve not to do was to partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God never created you to be righteous on your own. God never created you to be righteous by making your own moral decisions. Amen. So shame, com condemnation, and fear are opposite of prosperity. Amen. 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 So in Genesis, God told Adam and Eve, don't partake of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. In the beginning of Genesis 3, we knew, we know they partook of it. And in, and in Genesis 3:22, God said, man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. And he must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take it from the tree of life and live forever. And so before Adam and Eve partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they did not have a knowing of right and wrong. They didn't think of terms of right and wrong. Because they lived in the love of God. They lived totally loved. Totally perfect. Totally righteous. Because they were living inside of God. They were living in a place in the spirit. The Garden of Eden is not really a spot on earth. It's a place in the spirit. It's a place that you can tap into. That's why Jesus said, Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Amen. I spoke about this yesterday. That God created man naked. Genesis 2.25. The Bible says that the man and his wife were both naked and they felt no shame. Being naked means that you're incomplete. And so when they partook of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they were separated from the love of God. Literally, they became married to the law. They came into intimate relationship with the law of Moses. It was the only thing God didn't want them to do. And so they stepped into what I call the unloved nature. When, when God created man naked, he was created incomplete, meaning without love. So in a sense, God created us in a way where we couldn't operate without him. 
In other words, we would never really survive without him. And so when man left God, he stepped into the unloved nature. Naked means it needs something else to complete it. And so man from then on was trying to find something to make him feel okay. How many people around us are living in the unloved nature? They don't feel good about themselves. They don't feel beautiful. They don't feel clean. They don't believe that they're righteous. And they're trying to get from the world something to make them okay. They're wonderful, sweet people. But they can't find fulfillment. And so they get, they become um, holics. Alcoholics. Workaholics. Hobbyaholics. Yeah. And because they're trying to be fulfilled. They're like a, a great big suction hose trying to suck from this life some kind of fulfillment. And, and always coming up short. Never good enough. Because in their mind, they're still married to the law. And they come to the church. And they say, I want God. I want, I want to be married to Jesus. But they're still married to the law. Although God created a way for them to be free. In their mind, they're still married. When Jesus died on the cross, all of us were included at the cross. And we died with Christ. Whether you understand it or not, you died with Christ. You were crucified with Christ. And this is why if you're married and you, and you go have sex with somebody else, it's called adultery. So God could not come and marry us because we were married to the law. And you can find that in Romans chapter 7. That we were in marriage covenant with the law. So the only way you can marry somebody else is if your spouse dies. So the only way you can marry somebody else is if your spouse dies. Hallelujah. So, we died with Christ. And we died to the law. So we could belong to another. To him who was raised from the dead. Jesus Christ, the resurrected Son of God. And he told us to pray, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
زمین درست همون جوری که شده رو تو آسمان because of your the death of your old partner the law و برای اینکه شریکتون فوت کرده همون قانون قدیمی now you can legally and righteously be married to me از نظر قانون میتونی منو ازدواج کنی and therefore all that i have and am is yours هر چی که دارم و هستم مال تو هست all the prosperity that i have و فقیتی که دارم برکتی که دارم مال تو هست که هستم مال تو است amen People who are claiming Jesus Christ, but still living in a condemned conscience. They haven't really surrendered to the blood of Jesus. They're still thinking in their mind. 
I haven't gone to church enough. And I haven't prayed enough. And I, I lied. I cheated. I had adultery in my heart. I've been getting drunk. I've been getting high. I have a drug problem that people don't know about. So I can't be righteous. I'm really not a very good person. But I want to tell you something. All sin is paid for. Amen. What you behold is what you become. Proverbs tells us that as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Whatever you think you are, that is what you will become. Whatever you think you are, that is what you will become. The greatest things you've ever seen in your life came from the unseen. Somebody saw it on the inside before it ever came to the outside. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, God wants us to step into his world. His world is different than what most people think. God worked for six days. And on the seventh day he rested. And now he tells us that there is a rest for us. And it's not about a certain day. It's about a life you can step into. Jesus said, come to me all you who are weary and burden down. And I will give you rest for your soul. God wants you to step into his world of rest. True prosperity comes from rest. The most powerful productivity comes from rest. If you don't learn to rest, you will never dream. You have to first rest before you fall asleep. And then once you fall asleep, you can dream. It's when you dream that your body goes into the fastest healing. How many know that? It's the fastest healing. When you fall into deep dream sleep. It's the same in real life. When you begin to rest in God. That you are righteous. And you are adored. And that you are approved of. Because of the blood of Jesus only. Because of the blood of Jesus only. On your very best, most righteous day, you're a wicked sinner. Every single one of us. Give up trying to think that you're going to deserve God. And, and that you're going to somehow impress God. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. When you step into the world of faith, Actions begin to follow. Amen. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 1, it says this. It says, therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. Since the promise of entering his rest still stands, don't be one who is found to be fallen short of it. Don't miss the rest of God. 
what he does, he explains in Hebrews. Adam tozi mide tu Ebraniya. That you need rest for your soul. Ke esterat lazem darin vasa janetan. Hebrews chapter nine. Ebraniya nine. No. Talks about all the sacrifices. Rajeb hamey qurbani va fadakariya. That were required in the law of Moses. Ke zire sharayet. Musa dashtim. And so in Hebrews chapter 9 verses 9 and 10 it says this. It says this is an illustration for the present time. Indicating that the gifts and sacrifices being offered are not able to clear the conscience of the worshiper. They are only a matter of food and drink. Various ceremonial washings, external regulations, applying till the time of the new order. We are in a new order now. Amen. We're no longer under all that. And when you begin to believe the righteousness of God, the righteousness of God begins to flow through you. این راستکاری اصلا خورت میکنه Amen. امیر so God wants to clear you of a guilty conscience پس خداون میخواد تو رو تقدیس کنه از این وجدان ناراحت از این احساس گناه at the root of all poverty in, in, in your life is a guilty conscience in احساس گناه the Bible says in John 3.16 that God so loved the world that he gave his son that whoever would believe in him would not perish but would have everlasting life. Amen. 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 Romans 3 says all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God and are justified freely by his grace that came through the redemption by Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21 says God made him who had no sin to be sin for us. God made him who had no sin to be sin for you. To be sin for you. He made him to be sin for you. He became sin for you. He took all your sin. Sin is not your problem. The spirit of rest is your problem. Actually believing God. Instead of trying to be good enough and deserve God. You have to believe God and enter into rest. لیاقتشو دارم نه باید اعتقاد داشته باشی و بری تو این استراحت همه میخواد بحث کنم با خدا نه no, نه nah, خوب نیست right. یکی درست نمی کنم no. خدا میگه نه you have to let go and let God. You have to surrender that prideful mind that somehow thinks that you can do something to deserve God. You'll never deserve God. You'll never do good enough to deserve God. You see, if you feel guilty, then you will walk in fear. The Bible says perfect love casts out fear. And it says fear has to do with punishment. In other words, when we sin, we become afraid. And the reason why is we know there's a payment plan. A payment plan. There's a payment plan for everything under the sun. If you're good to people, you'll find that they'll be good to you. 
میبینین آدما با شما What comes around goes around. اون چیزی که میدین میاد به How many know what I'm talking about? چی میگن؟ Amen. The Bible says if you want to have friends, you have to show yourself friendly. انجیل میگه اگر میخوای دوست داشته باشه خودت باید آدم مهربانی باشه. Amen. You're going to reap what you sow. اون چیزی که میدی میگیری. And so God is wanting you to step into His prosperity. پس خداوند امروز میخواد بیای توی ملکوت برکت. So what He did is He took your sin. پس چیکار کرد گناه تو برداشت. He took the negativity. همه منفیت تو برداشت. He took your failure. برداشت شکستن. He took your lack. شکستگی تو چیزی که نداشتی برداشت. So you could step into His thinking. که بتونی بری تو طرز فکر خداوند. Amen. Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Says you will be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Amen. Amen. And so, when when Adam and Eve sin, the first thing they felt was shame. And the second thing was fear. God, God called to Adam. He said, "Adam, where are you?" خدا گفت آدم کجایی؟ He said, "I was afraid, so I hid." ترسیدم واسه نزد قایم شدم. When you have sinned, there's something. There's something inside of you that knows that you deserve some kind of punishment. If you push a ball, it rolls. Amen. There's an Equal and opposite reaction for every action. Was a hard axol amal ke dori yek axol amal dige hast ke doros bar axesh va mobazish. And so that's why we have courts. Pas was in dot gah dori. Because if somebody does something wrong, agar yek has yek kari bad mikone, we all as a nation feel like there should be some kind of judgment. Esas mikone khobat yek zavati bashe yek jarab jari mei bashe. Amen. And so when we do wrong, we innately have a sense of fear. اصلا تو ذاتمون ترس میاد. Even if we don't try to think about it. حتی اگر سعی میکنیم فکر نکنیم راجع به. We feel like I have something bad coming to my life. یه چیز بد داره میاد. Because I've been doing this wrong and that wrong. Bad another thing wrong. بعد میکنم یکی رو. And even though we don't think about it. و با همینی که فکر نمیکنیم راجع بهش. We we have this inside feeling. درونمون یه احساس. That I don't deserve to. که میدونیم من لیاقت ندارم. To be really blessed. که I don't deserve to be super happy. نه لیاقتش ندارم که خوشحال. I don't deserve to make millions. لیاقتش ندارم میلیون. That's for somebody else. Because I'm not a good person. برای که من آدم خوبی نیستم. And what's happening is is you are putting a lid on your life. و چی داره میشه؟ شما دارین یک در میذاری. God is trying to set you free. و خداوند میخواد ولی آزادتون کنه. He's trying to deliver you from fear. میخواد آزادتون کنه از این ترس. How many books were never written because of fear? How many CDs were never created because of fear? How many businesses were never started because of fear? How many inventions never got out because of fear? چند تا چیزا نتونستن خلق کنن برای که ترسیدن. How many people failed to dream big because of fear? چند تا ترسیدن که روی های بزرگ با سر زندگیشون ببینم برای که می ترسیدن. And it comes right back to a guilty conscience. بیشش همین احساس گناه. Because whenever we sin, we feel. هر وقت گناه می کنی. There's something going to come against us because. We know that there's a payment plan for everything on the sun. To in dunya, همه چیز یک جاری بدن. You eat healthy, you get more healthy. Yeah, I get my. واسه هر چیز خوب خوب اگر یه چیز خوب بخوری احساس سلامتی میکنی اگر اگر اشغال بخوری احساس بد میکنی سلامت نیست اگر میخوای خوب بشی سلامت بشی میری اکسرسایز میکنی ورزش میکنی ولی اگر همش میشینی تلویزیون تماشا میکنی خب میبینیشی میشه دیگه تو پولی میشی آمین آمین بکس 
There's a consequence for whatever you do. There's a payment plan for when you're nice to somebody. You come up and just say, nice to meet you. That spirit of kindness. It has a payment plan. When you're mean and ugly to people, there's a payment plan. So inside of you you have a conscience and your conscience is declaring what's right and wrong it's declaring what's in and what's out what's safe and what's not and so if on the inside of you you're trying to say I'm a good person but you know all the garbage you've done then your conscience is going you know what you got stuff coming to you because your conscience knows there's a payment plan there's a payment plan for everything under the sun the only, and the only way to get out of that payment plan is to have somebody pay it for you. You have a payment plan. He really did pay your debt. He not only paid for what you did yesterday, last week and last month and last year, he paid for what you did today. He paid for your own thoughts right in this service. Maybe there's bitterness in your heart or wrong things in your heart. He paid for that too. He paid for your sin tomorrow. He paid for your sin next month. When you are angry and mean and bitter, he paid for that. اونم داده بدهکاریشو قصدشو چرا برای که عاشق جان تو you are everything he's ever wanted you are everything he's ever wanted there's no one in all the world or the universe as prosperous as him he owns everything all the gold and silver is his everything in the world is his and he's wanting to give it to you He's wanting you to wake up to his world. And it's, it's the world where the blood of Jesus decides between prosperity and poverty. And you receive the blood of Jesus as absolute payment. As absolute payment. No more good works involved. They are only a byproduct. They follow you. The good works follow a right conscience. When you, be, when you believe you're righteous, you begin to act righteous. When you believe you're loved, you begin to act loving. And it begins to change everything in your life. Amen. Amen. A clear conscience produces rest in your spirit. A clear conscience releases productivity. A clear conscience releases the dream of your life. Some of you have dreams that have been shoved down. You used to dream. But because of all the hurt and the pain, you don't have a clear conscience. 
نسبت به شما گفته شده گفتیم بابا هیچی رایه ها ولی میخواد امروز اون رایه که داری زنده کنه میخواد دوباره رایه داشته باشه با قوت خون ایسا مسیح میتونی یک زندگی تازه به تنبی که شما بخشیده شدید و شما آزاد هستید و عاشق جنده And you are treasure. And the spirit of a lion begins to rise up inside of you. That I'm called to be above and not beneath. I have the promise of Abraham. You are not a Jew if you're only one outwardly. But you are a child of God if you're one inwardly. Being circumcised in your heart. heart by the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. A clear conscience releases power both physically and spiritually. Because he became sin for us, و برای اینکه مسیح گناه شد واسه ما it is literally and legally possible for you to step into a پس از نظر قانون امکان پذیره که شما یک زندگی تازه داشت. You don't have to live depressed anymore. لازم نیست دیگه تو افسردگی باشی. You don't have to live condemned anymore. لازم نیست دیگه با گناه زندگی کنی. You don't have to feel like a failure anymore. لازم نیست احساس شکستگی بکنی. You don't have to feel unloved anymore. لازم نیست احساس کنی که محبت نیست. You don't have to feel weak anymore. لازم نیست احساس ضعیفی بکنی. In Christ we can be made alive. To masses in the house. Because, Amen. First Corinthians fifteen twenty-two. Says for in Adam all die. پس نوشته تو آدم همه so in Christ all will be alive. تو مسی همه زنده. Amen. Amen. Hebrews 10 verse 14. Ebronian 10 chorda. Says because by one sacrifice. Vasa yek fadakari yek qurbani. He has made perfect forever. As tariq in qurbani hame kamer karde. Those who are being made holy. Un shaksi un shaksai ke daran qudus mishan. God has made you perfect. خداوند کامل شما را کرده But you're being made holy. ولی هنوز تو یک پروسس هستین که دارین قدوس میشین Holy means set apart قدوسیت یعنی چی؟ یعنی جدا از دنیا So when you come to God واسه وقتی که میاین به خدا you, you still have failures and you still have mistakes هنوز شکستگی دارین مشکل دارین اشتباه But God said he's made you perfect. ولی خداوند میگه نه من تو رو کامل کردم. And he wants you to receive in your heart and mind. اینو به تو قلبتون تو فکرتون کی هستی؟ شخصیت تازه‌تون کیه؟ چیه؟ Because he knows when you receive it. که میدونه وقتی که به تلبی you start gravitating towards him. اصلا شروع می‌کنین برین به نزدش. And that means you become more and more set apart. بعدا شروع می‌کنین به کمتر دنیای بیشتر از خدا. Amen. How many of you, how many of you like to hang out with people who are always condemning you? چند تا آدم اینجا دوست دارن با آدمایی که همش دارن بهت میگن کار بد کردی باشی دوست داری؟ Nobody. You know why a lot of times people don't come to church? چرا بعضی وقت آدم آدم میان کلیسا؟ Because they think they're going to be condemned. برای که احساس میکنن احساس گناه میگیرن. They think I don't have enough energy to try to jump through all the Christian hoops. میگم خب من اصلا خستم اگر انرژی ندارم که بتونم همه کارایی که کلیسا انتظار داره بکنم. And and especially those of you from Iran. مخصوصا آدمایی که از ایران هستن. Trying to be good enough. همش میخوایم مثلا خوب باشیم. Everything is always about being good enough. همش باید سعی میکنیم I have a friend who who is a, a Muslim. And I asked him, how do you know 
if you're going to make it to heaven. How do you know if you've prayed enough? And, and you know what he told me? He said, I don't know. So that means he has to live in constant fear. Always living in fear of not knowing if he's going to make it. But you know what God says? I already paid for it for you. I already became good enough for you. I'm already in love with you. I already want you. And I need you just to believe me. Confess me as your answer. Declare me as your answer. When you do, you begin to step into soul prosperity. He said, I wish above all things. That you would prosper and be in good health. Even as your soul prospers. See when the blood of Jesus shows up. And you receive it. Then on the inside you start to believe. I deserve blessing now. Because I'm perfect in God's sight. He owns me. I'm his. And he is mine. I'm righteous in his sight. So on the inside of you, you begin to believe that you are rightful owner of favor and blessing. You are a rightful owner. You legally are supposed to be blessed. By the God of all the universe. You legally are supposed to be favored. You legally are supposed to have blessings chase you. And let me tell you something. If you don't believe it, it won't work for you. You have to humble yourself to the truth of God. When you humble yourself to the truth of God, quit arguing with God. Say I'm everything that you say I am. I'm as righteous as you say I am. I'm as worthy as you've made me to be. I am the righteousness of God. God. Because Jesus lives in me. The most righteous thing you will ever do in your life is not preaching. It's not going to church. It's not praying. It's not worshiping. It's simply receiving who God says you are. And that makes me want to shout. Has in Vogan Behold, my Fariot Bezana, با تو که برمده هایش نیستیم به زده تاریکی سربازان در حضور شاه شامان سرایی صدود پیروزی ما فرزندان با تو که برمده هایش نیستیم به زده تاریکی
به سوی لشکر شیطان می رویم در نام محصیح و سفیران آماده بحر فرمانش می خانیم لبه که پادشا شاهدان به سوی لشکر شیطان می رویم در نام محصیح و سفیران آماده بحر فرمانش می خانیم لبه که Thank you.